What is up guys, it's Soulbash. Welcome back to some more Mobile Legends. Today we are going to do something that's been requested like we did the other day. We did a custom build with Striker. We're gonna do another one today, but we're gonna go with Dread. Now, a lot of you have been requesting me to do these in real matches instead of the AI matches. And I'm going to explain to you now why I haven't been doing them that way. When I first get the legends, it's easier for me to go in AI. I don't have to worry about people AFKing. I don't have to worry about people forfeiting matches. I'm able to get a full match in and show you the baseline of what they're able to do. Now, recording them like this, it takes a lot longer because people AFK, they get pissed off, they quit matches, or they give up. And it's just not worth putting a partial match in there to show you what a legend is able to do. And that's why we've been doing them this way. Now these are, like I said, these are regular matches that we're doing now, but it's gonna take a lot longer to do these because this is the fourth match in a row that I've done. I've tried recording. We've been at it for over an hour trying to get this one video done because people quit either AFK or they keep giving up. And I don't want to put that in a video where somebody just gives up. So we're going to go in and get right into it with Dread with a custom build. And here we go. Take four. We're going to grab the stun to begin with. Uh, I can't, I've been over this four times already. So bear with me, guys. All right, stun to begin with. Uh, Dread's custom build. You're going to do it differently depending on how you play him. Uh, but for me, I'm going to base it off of what he already has, which is the survivability because of his absorption. Now that gives you 7% life still at level 1, 14 at level 2, and then 21% at level 3. So I'm going to build off of that. And what we're going to do is we're going to build basically a lot of life still, attack speed, and attack. Now, he's already tanky enough to you know stay in there against some of these legends um and the cool thing about it is you're able to do so much damage you can burst people down and on top of that we're going to jump into some crits because we're going to run that off of his build as well because for one he has a good amount of crit damage from his normal uh ability and now survival we're going to grab the abyss helm to begin with we got another kill right there so they're pushing pretty hard on that tower. Hopefully it doesn't make these other people give up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jungle a little early. I'm only level two, nobody's down bottom. So after this kill right here, we're gonna shift down bottom. Jonic came up, took one of them away from me. I hate when people do that. If I'm farming, leave me alone. All right, I could have grabbed that power buff. Jonic's right there, he's gonna grab it. All right, we have the first three abilities already. And Maxim, what are you doing? Why are you trying to kill so early? You don't have any of the power. You're gonna get stuck in here and you're just gonna die. Control immunity. Now, that's the first time I've seen that one and that's probably using uh, the mana shield. I think that's the only one that does that, but it shouldn't have let me use my ability if he was control immune. That was kind of weird. All right, fourth, we have the ultimate. So level four, level eight, and level 12, you're gonna get the different tiers of ultimates. Now, one thing I've never done is build back into the fourth level ultimate for Dread, which I mean, I don't really think it's needed or necessary because you can actually do a good bit without it. I mean, it's just a resurrection, so you're not going to get anything but maybe a smaller cooldown timer on it. And it's already small enough if you're losing that much. I don't, I don't think you need to uh, be using that anyway. So we've got quite a few people in here. I don't want to get caught up. He caught Jewel, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back. Second item on the list, we're gonna go with physical attack. We're gonna grab Chaos Claw. That's some attack speed and the 15% life still off of it as well. It's gonna help out a good bit. And it also has a chance to increase my attack speed by 40%, which is another huge thing for the build that I'm going with because the faster I attack, the faster I heal myself and the longer I can stay in a fight. Now the ultimate does help because some people may not pay attention and if they don't know you have your ultimate up you can come pop right back in on them and kill them all right so we have dread and willen pushing on a tower here they're gonna try to get me caught up but i'm not wanting to waste this ultimate just yet so can we get him caught in here johnny come on come on johnny where's that ultimate at where's the ultimate johnny he's not paying attention all right let's go ahead and stun him and 
Jonic took the killing blow on him. I'm gonna get stunned. I've still got an ulti, so I'm not too, too worried about that. I'm gonna help these guys out. Gonna heal myself up a little bit. All right, we took his ulti down. So right when he comes back, let's attack him, stun him, try and get him caught up. He's gonna turn around and try to attack me, but he got caught up and taken out. So here's the push on the tower. Nope, we're not pushing on the tower. We're getting out. Like I said, I don't wanna waste the ulti. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go jungle. Now I've got 30% life still plus the 21%. So we're at 51% life still if it stacks all correctly. And I'm able to heal up so fast while doing jungle. All right, we still got both of our towers too. It's kind of an early level to be trying to kill a boss on Dread, but with Jonnet, it's not too bad. And we did get the buff from that. All right, third, we want some move speed. We're gonna go with Gale Boots, 45% movement speed. It's got more attack speed and some defense on it as well, so it's really good for Dread. It kind of goes along with his build. And since this heals up, let's go ahead and drop back and grab it. And we have one maximum, and looks like the other two are up top. So let's get a stun in on you. And let's see if we can't get some damage done. Yes. All right, now the next thing after the absorption is maxed out, I'm gonna go with the uh, killing blows because that helps out with crits. Now that's another thing I'm gonna be building into on this custom build is into crits because that's damage. And that's what you want is a lot of damage when you're going this way. Now if you don't go tanky, that's fine. It's completely fine. But for now, let's go ahead and get some more physical attack. Soul Cutlass for that fourth one, we missed it was worried about that uh, Maxim that was right there. And Maxim, let's see what you got. You're gonna get called up again. jonic has got the slow. That's one thing I really don't run with too lot, too much is slow on Jonic. Oh, not Jonic, but Dread. Uh, I mean, it helps out a good bit if you're trying to chase somebody down, but I mean, you don't wanna use too much of what you can already do because you're able to do so much damage. And you see how much I was able to heal myself back up there. Stay in and help my teammates out. Basically what I'm doing is I'm there to interrupt, stay alive and take the blunt of the absorption of the damage that people are putting out on me. And hopefully we do not uh, snowball this to the point where they actually want to give up. So I'm going to get away from that lane. I don't want them to give up on me. And let's go down here. Let's go jungle. And we got our next item up and available. So the next item we're gonna go with is going to be the uh, crit. Now it's 25 attack and 15% chance to 1.75 chance, 1.75% crit. So we're doing a good bit more damage. We're gonna level the ultimate up first. We're going to wait. The next one that's gonna let me level up is the uh, actual stun again. But level 12 is gonna be the next level that we're gonna be grabbing. Uh, I'm not gonna get him, Emma. Oh, I got the stun on him. Can I get in there in time? Yes. I love dread. All right. Now, well, let's go ahead and take out this mini balls. Let's see dreads in top lane again. And for the last item, it's kind of up in the air which way you want to go with the last item, depending on, you know, what you're dealing with. With this setup that we're going against, it's only one magic dealer, so I'm not gonna really try to build into any magic defense. I'm not really worried about willing whatsoever because I can out heal his damage. And we got the stun back up. Let's save Jonic. All right, we saved him. And last ability, where are you going, dude? Oh, uh, you're gonna stun me, but you got called anyway. And he's gonna get caught up again. Immediately stun him and just finish him off. There we go. All right, 16 to four, we've pushed this really, really hard. For the last item, I mean, you've got a lot of options to go with. Uh, you can go with more attack with the Infinity Lance. Uh, you can try and slow them down with Phoenix Blades and get a little bit of attack and uh, movement speed from that. For all slants, or you can just go crazy and get the Guardian Gloves and go with that crazy amount of attack speed, which is what I'm gonna do. All right, we're level 11. The next level is the actual third level ultimate. So that'll be maxed out. That's 456 crit from that already. And that's everything at tier one. We have no tier twos and we're pretty much able to one or two shot pretty much any of the minions. And let's see if we can get one of these guys called up. We're able to stay in. Let's just go ahead and stun him. Get that last shot on him. 
We're seven and oh, double kill. All we need is what, two more kills. How you doing? I'm just gonna run over here and grab this. Don't mind me at all. I'm not gonna use anything on this guy, watch. I'm not even gonna stun him, I'm just gonna let him go. I don't wanna kill him, but Jonic killed him anyway, cause there's only one more kill. I actually wanna get down here on this boss and show you how fast you can take this guy out with dread. You're able to tank just for the fact of the life steal. So all you do is basically just sit here and attack him and he drops down pretty quick. Uh, we're getting some okay crits on him. I don't have the crit leveled up yet and it doesn't look like the game's gonna go long enough to level things up to tier two. But this is one of my custom builds on Dread. This is kind of my survival go try hard uh, build. You know, I'm able to stay in and just attack people more. Grab that fire essence buff, dude. What are you doing? Right here. Grab that. There you go. Gra Come on, Johnny. Pay attention. All right, fine. I'll grab it. Three lives on Dread. I'll take it. And let's go play with Dread up top. We didn't get a chance to make it there. All right. Angry Goat killed the last one. That's my custom build for Dread, guys. It didn't really get into a long game of it, but we finally got a game completed after almost two hours of trying to do this. Uh, if you have any questions about building Dread, I mean, like I said, there's a lot of different ways. You kind of want to appropriate it to, you know, who you're going up against. Like that match there had a lot of melee and only one magic. So I wasn't really too worried about, you know, taking a lot of magic damage. I didn't have to build any magical defense. I didn't have to build any physical defense because I'm able to attack fast enough. They didn't have any stuns except for the one from Dread. So as long as you're in a team versus a team that has a almost non-stun composition, Dread building him in a lifestyle manner with a lot of attack speed and attack is a really good way to go because you're able to stay in and fight a lot longer. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions about this build, feel free to leave them in the comments below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soul Bash. You guys have a nice day.